Well, less than two weeks from polling day and Premier Jay Weatherill was today focusing on concessions for low-income earners. Liberal leader Stephen Marshall, though, made a surprise admission, saying he's not preoccupied with social issues and won't champion them in government. Stephen Marshall's rarely lost for words. Hello. But he seemed stumped at a public forum when asked about his social values. On social issues, uh, well, you know, um, you know, to be quite honest, I didn't go into politics uh, for the social issues. No social graces from the Premier unrepentant for branding Mr Marshall a fake. No, I should have gone harder. I mean, he called me a cockroach at one stage. Uh, he's resorting to personal insults and what we really need, what we really need is an action agenda to get our state back on track. We get these empty slogans. Well, you know, it is our action agenda and I'm, I'm very proud of our action agenda to get South Australia back on track. It may not be rocket science, but the Liberals confident they've cracked Thank the code for electoral success. We're going to we're gonna have to do some more tests. <laughs> Stephen Marshall says the bioscience precinct here at Theberton is vastly underutilised and he wants to create the conditions to help it expand. There's enormous opportunity here, uh, but the government has starved uh, the central agency. Jay Weatherall certainly wasn't going hungry. Tremendous, they look good. Pledging extra funds for the community food bank program as well as lump sum payments, counselling and loans to help offset living costs for eligible concession holders. Rather than being forced onto a payday lender, this provides them with a no interest or low interest loan to bridge that gap. But he has no credibility whatsoever in terms of cost of living. Labor also talking up job creation in the north with a pilot scheme to install solar panels on public housing. It'll go to tender but with strict criteria favouring local business. Obviously that gives a particular advantage to the only Australian manufacturer in the nation. But that manufacturer, Tindo, wasn't sticking to the partisan script. Uh, we've had great support from this government and also from the opposition that both are interested. Tom Richardson, Nine News.